Hey guys and welcome back. This is week nine of the Hide His Word in Your Heart series. And the verse that we are doing tonight comes from Philippians and it's Philippians 4.19. And the verse says, My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Jesus Christ. And I really feel that this verse came at a point in time that our family really needed it as a reminder. And we just had a lot of things going on in our life this week. And I just feel that it was the perfect reminder that God will provide and He will come through when it's things that we really need. And I came across this blog the other day as I was thinking about this verse and I just wanted to read this little piece um, that I came across. And it says, One thing that we all do is worry. Circumstances of want and necessity fill our lives and we sometimes cannot see how we're going to make it. We instinctively, according to our faith, look to God. Many times, however, doubting and unsure how He will come through. Life is sometimes unkind and there are many living in despondence and despair. There are many with hearts that are broken, with dreams that are shattered, and with needs so heavy that they are burdened down to the point that they believe beyond all hope that they have no thankfulness in their hearts. And we must always remember that God is faithful. No matter if we feel discouraged or disheartened, we must embrace the truth of God's faithfulness. If we focus on our problems and troubles instead of God's faithfulness, we are heading down a dangerous highway that leads to discouragement and unbelief. We must trust in Him and know that He has faithfulness to His children, and He will take care of us. And so I just really felt that this was the perfect verse for what we needed this week in our life, and it was something um, that I was really looking forward to art journaling this week. So what I've decided to do is, um, I came across this page in my paper pack and I just fell in love the very first time I saw it. And part of what we were going through this week had to do with our house and refinancing and it's, it's worrisome. It's, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a heavy burden to have to deal with, but it is part of life. And, um, like I said, this verse really came to us when we needed it and, we are trusting and believing in God that things will work out the way they need to, and um, we're going on from there. So with this page, it started out as a 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper, and what I've done was I cut off about mm, two and a half inches, I believe is what this came to. Let's see. Measure this out. Yeah. Two and a half, well, just, just a hair under two and a half inches um, is what I cut off. And then I also cut two inches off of the top corner here. And what my plan to do is um, I've also cut a uh, backing for this that left me a quarter of an inch all the way around. And um, I'm planning to place this on here to actually do my verse lettering here. But what I wanted to do was... The paper trimmer that I have from the Purple Cow, it is a paper trimmer that comes in two halves. The other half has the um, larger cutting blade here, um, but it cuts, comes in half to make it a lot easier. And this has the rotary cutter on this side. And as you can see, the blade goes right here, and the machine itself came with two blades. It came with a straight cutting edge as well as this one here which has a little wave to it. Well it also came with a four pack of additional blades. See this is the straight blade, one of the straight blades that it came with, the straight cut you can see. Um, it also came with this pack that has four other different types of blades inside to give you different, you know, uh, crooked edge, double lined edge, pretty scallop here. And the one that I'm going to be using today, it really mimicked the lace that is in this picture here at the bottom of the house, which I just thought was so delicate and dainty. I really loved it. So this blade here, I'm not quite sure if you can see that. It's got kind of a glare from my lighting, but it has a beautiful scalloped edge. And my plan is to come in here 
and scallop the edges of this um, craft papering that will go behind my verse. So what you do is, let me zoom out a little bit on this. Okay. Uh, with this paper cutter, you slide your paper in. Oh, I'm sorry. You unlock both ends. Make sure they're unlocked to where you can slide the paper underneath. And once you have it lined up and in place, you lock both sides of the mechanism here, which holds your paper in place. That way you're not worried about it sliding or moving on you. Then you take your blade, push down and across. Okay, so there you can see, well I don't know if you can see very well, the scalloped edge there. It came out so pretty. And this will sit behind this paper here to give it a beautiful border. So I'm going to go ahead and trim out the rest of this craft paper and I'll come back as soon as I'm done. trimmed out the edges of this in my scalloped design. Now I'm going to add this paper on top. Um, where is my tape? There it is. And um, I guess now we will go ahead and add our verse to this. Put this lid back on this glue here. Okay. And I love the purple colors that came out in this, so I decided to use a purple marker today. <clears throat> and let's see. There are a few words that I wanted to make larger than others. For instance, we'll do my God. God. No. Will supply. I'm going to come back in here and on the left side of each of these letters I'm going to make this first side a lot thicker. Straight. 
straighten that up a little as well. My God will supply every need. of yours. Christ. In Christ Jesus. It says, My God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in Christ Jesus. And we are going to attach this here on this side, and I'll come back in and write the verse at the bottom. So let's get a little glue out. And this week I will be sure and spell Philippians correctly. <laughs> Double check. Okay. That's P H I L I P P I A. Philippians 4 19. Is the verse on that? Okay, and the main reason why I wanted to do a lot of lettering on this side is because, as I said, that I really felt that this verse was something we needed this week in my family. And I'm going to leave this little note section here uh, to place on my page so that I can write my own personal prayer here. Um, uh, just a prayer of thankfulness, of thankfulness of how God is always there for us and always comes through when we need Him. And um, I just felt that that was really something that was needed this week on this page. So I will attach that here. And during my devotional time later today, I will add a prayer to that. And my page will be complete. Okay, guys. Well, there we have it. That is week nine with 1 Philippians 4.19. Have a blessed week.